Halfway to the sidelines to holler at the coaches. 59, 58 seconds. Find out the timeout totals. 53, 52 seconds. Georgia Southern up to the line. The ball is a, maybe a half a foot, not quite that much, I guess, outside of the 23 wideouts left and one to the right. Ham trying to holler at him, 40, 39. Tracy comes outside. Tracy's got a block. Touchdown, touchdown. Watch this, Phil. Unbelievable. Look at this. A block on the corner and a block up head. He saw something, Larry. He called that audible. Oh. Nobody, uh, Irk Russell said it last week, no quarterback in the country runs the option as well as Tracy. I believe it. 39, 30. This thing is not over. 27 seconds still left, and here we go. And if it hadn't have been for this great hit, once again, boy, that is um, Brad Bowen, Brad Bowen Panama City, who's had Florida. some great, great plays tonight. Second down, 80 yards to go, 24 seconds. Long bomb, and it is intercepted down on the 38-yard line. Nay Young of Savannah to the 40, knocked down on the 45, and now Southern can smell it. Deep interception, he overthrew him, 17 seconds. Georgia Southern may go to a national championship, 40 to 33. Back and forth on the scoreboard all night long. They're flying directly back tonight, aren't they? No, I believe. Um, I thought I heard. No, did, they're did going they, directly are back. Are they going directly back? That's okay, well, they've got a charter. Well, folks, we'll let you know when they'll be back in state there in Savannah out. and then from Statesboro. They'll fly into Savannah. Here's Nay Young. Nay Young out of Savannah. Have Andy find out when the plane is supposed to land. I'm sure Southern is supposed to come directly back after the game. Okay. Though I would say it'd be four and a half hours we'll from this moment. Southern wants a timeout, I believe. 17 seconds. 40 to 33. Both teams have <laughs> both teams have all three of their timeouts. If that, that makes any difference now, Larry. What a ball game, huh? Yep. Tacoma, Washington, apparently, and so they'll pick up two schools who are real close to each other, Furman and Georgia Southern, in the infinite wisdom of the NCAA, and move them thousands of miles where they may not sell enough tickets and make that school pay a fine like they made Northern Iowa pay a $45,000 fine a week ago. Let's hope not. The rules are so strange. I'm really wondering if the 1912 Olympic Committee didn't set most of them up. <laughs> 17 seconds, 40 to 33. I'm not asking for a home game. I'm just saying, why don't they play it somewhere where they know they're going to sell 40,000 tickets or something? Unbelievable. Tracy Ham's touchdown run, then came a long bomb, and they knocked it out of his hands barely, and then he went a little too deep. He went a little too deep. He'd been hitting 20, 22 yarders right down the middle. Now they'll just try to smother the ball and then just jump out of their socks in joy. He steps back and steps back. He's trying to make the clock run, and then finally he goes down. He deliberately retreated kind of in slow motion, four or five yards behind the line, and the clock now is starting to run down. Two seconds, one second, and Georgia Southern is going to go to Tacoma, Washington, 40 to 33, and a stunning thing here. And the club that had already chartered a 350-seat airplane is going to stay home. A stunning offensive show.